right, good morning, guys. We are back for another bike review. This time on the uh, 2018 Santa Cruz Blur CC. Very nice, XL1 build. I'm on a size medium Santa Cruz Blur, and at 5'10", 175 pounds, this bike feels spot on. So we're back at my home track, Pine Hills, where I do all most majority of my bike reviews. And always gotta start it off with a climb up. And what can I say, this thing is a beast. 100 millimeters of travel, front and back. It's got this remote lockout lever. So if you wanna maximize your efficiency and power, on like a fire road or smooth paved road, instant lockout. But all these little chunk, chunky rocks and loose gravel. I'm gonna keep that suspension open, maximize my traction. I think it goes without saying that this bike's gonna climb awesome. It's a cross country bike, but what I'm gonna prove today, I think it is that it can handle more. So I originally wanted to test the bike at one of my local cross country or trail centers, uh, Duxbury, where I tested the Specialized Epic, which you handle those trails beautifully. And yesterday I actually rode it there to do a review on it, but it was just making short work of those trails. Um, and I think this, this uh, blur can handle a little bit more. So Pine Hills is where I usually view uh, trail bikes, enduro bikes. It's not the gnarliest terrain, but it's definitely a step up or a step up in difficulty, um, technical wise. A lot more rocks and drops and jumps and stuff like that. Uh, but this thing, this blur is definitely the best climbing bike I've ever climbed. Or, yeah. <laughs> uh, like I said, 100 millimeters of travel front and back, courtesy of Fox. It's got the DPS in the back and Fox 32 uh, step cast, so super light. But it still feels, if I bounce on it, it still feels pretty plush just for 100 millimeters of travel. Way more so than the Epic or even that uh, BMC Agnes I tested in Florida, which I cracked the carbon frame on that one. So go check that out if you wanna see that video. Dirt's pretty good today. Had some uh, rain this morning. So she gets some good traction. And I need all the help I can get because we have these Maxxis um, Aspen tires, XC tires. They're 2.25 inches wide and has minimal tread. Like it's definitely a fast rolling tire. So I feel like if I hit these sandy patches, it will wash pretty uh, quickly. But right now it's scooting up this hill. I can't believe how fast I got up this hill. Holy crap. All right, made it to the top of the hill. Before we go down, let's talk about the, uh, the blur real quick. So it's a CC frame, higher grade carbon frame, super light. But you come out in the back, it's got the DT Swiss XR 361 29er wheel set. Has a 22.5 inner diameter or inner width. It's wrapped with the Aspen 29 by 2.25 tires, front and back. Very lightweight cross-country tire, so hopefully I don't puncture it on these rocks, but very minimal tread, so it's very fast rolling. Um, the dirt's good today, it rained this morning, so hopefully that'll help me out. But either DT Swiss 350 hubs. Got Fox Float, DPS rear shock, 100 millimeters of travel with the remote lockout, and the Fox 32 Performance Elite front fork step cast um, with the remote lockout. It's got the SRAM, uh, Level TLM brakes, and it's got the Santa Cruz carbon bars, 740 millimeters wide. It's a flat bar. Sintase, I think that's how you say it. 70 millimeter stem, it's pointed down. Get that weight over the front of the bike. If you want to see more about this bike, I will leave it in the description below, so go check it out. But so far, really good. I'm, I'm impressed how it climbs. Here's a kind of like an enduro-y, I don't even classify it, but it's a pretty good descent, fast. Um, I put it on my new bike. Handles it pretty good. <laughs> Has a little more travel than this bike, but I think this thing's gonna fare pretty well. Um, suspension's open, you got the remote lockout here, like I said. 
And I also got a new camera, Insta360 cam. I'm gonna mount it on my waist here, give you guys a different perspective of what it's like to ride in Pine Hills on the Santa Cruz Belair. Hope it does go flying off, but... So the bike doesn't have a dropper. It would really benefit from a dropper. I know you can get it with it, and you could definitely fit one um, on it. So, just got the seat up nice and high in my butt. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Woo it's so light at 22 pounds. Oh. You can just pick it up over anything. Oh. My God, this bike is fast. Hey, these Aspen tires are hooking up pretty good. Whoa, it's a little sandy here, so a little sketchy. Put some power down. All right, so now I'm pedaling a little flat right here. Oh, sandy. These tires are not good in the sand. So for tire pressure on these, I got 26 in the front and 28 in the back. It's feeling pretty good for normal trails, but once it gets sandy, it just washes out the minimal tread on these things. Dang, I'm impressed how this, for 100 millimeters of travel, it feels pretty plush. So let's try this lockout. Here's a pretty smooth part of the trail. Oh yeah, so if you just wanna power up a hill, I think that's the way to go. Lock it out. Let's see how the Santa Cruz Blur turns with its 69 degree head tube angle. Woo! I think it's gonna turn pretty good. <laughs> Wow, it's like a razor blade with accuracy. Whoa. Definitely feel the 69 degree head tube angle though on the short little drops there. Gotta get your weight real all the way back. Pick your lines with these tires because don't want to slice the sidewalls on these rocks. Ooh. Keep it smooth. Oh God, it's light. It's so light. I almost over bunny hop stuff because it's... Ooh. Oh God, it gets over that stuff really nice with the two nine wheels. Probably handle the chunk pretty well. I think it would definitely help out if I had a dropper post on this and just a little bit beefier tires. I feel a little bit more confident with the abilities of the bike. Because when it gets really steep, I'm having trouble getting my butt around the saddle. But I still can do it. Just gotta really concentrate. God, it's fast. Like two pedal strokes and and you're gone. This is a really good bike, guys. Like, I'm enjoying the climbs. I usually hate climbs. Like, right up this stuff. Just, you're very comfortable with the stem length and the reach, the top tube length. It all just fits so well. You could definitely ride this bike all day long. No problem with a dropper. <laughs> this blur is only 2.9 Pacific, so no 27.5 plus. Um, and it could definitely hold a 2.3 tire, front and back. Don't know about any wider though. Maybe though. You can always shoehorn stuff in there. Whew. So handling the tight turns, so easy it's just I guess a steeper head tube angle allows you to just maneuver so much easier than the slack bikes I'm used to 
riding. Oh yeah. <laughs> it drifts nice in the corners. Teal and brakes are working well. All right, here's a tree here. So in that kind of stuff, I feel the steep head tube angles a little, a little scary. Going with that short drop with the seat up kind of bucks me forward. Oh yeah, this bike rocks though. All right guys, so just finished up the ride on the Santa Cruz Blur CC. And what can I say? This is one heck of an XC bike. So bikes today are blurring all the lines between cross country and uh, trail or trail endurance or enduro bikes. And this one is on the border of trail XC. Um, you can ride it like a normal trail bike. If I just had a dropper post and more aggressive tires, I couldn't tell the difference between this and, uh, and a uh, regular trail bike. Obviously it's got a hundred millimeter suspension so you can blow that, blow through that pretty quick on drops and stuff like that. But for your everyday bike around normal trails, this thing is a beast. Um, if I were to buy this bike, I'd obviously add a dropper. Like I just said, more burlier tires, just to hook up in the, my terrain, my local terrain. But if I was racing XC, I'd probably leave it as is. Um, 22 pounds, 12 ounces. It's ridiculously light. Um, that's what the spec on this bike, you know, it's a typical Santa Cruz CC XL1 build. SRAM XL1 Eagle worked awesome today. And these SRAM TLM brakes, good stoppers. It's also nice having the remote lockout. So you can just lock it out on the fly. So if you're on a gravel road climb, like in an endurance race, you just reach down, hit that switch, and it's probably one of the most efficient mountain bikes you're ever gonna ride. Um, it is just, the frame is so stiff, so light. Uh, suspension worked really well for 100 millimeters of travel. It felt pretty plush to me, but guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get a couple more miles in. See you next time, peace.